Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So, I think we're going to be able to get this kitchen finally finished. And then we'll be working on the dining room upstairs. So, that will take a little while to do, but it won't be half as long because most of it's going to be wood anyways. Um, we're going to put in a floor around here and then have them put a roof on and stuff like that. So, that'll be a lot faster, I think, than... Uh, what we've have had had to do with the uh, stone b blocks and stuff so but it's looking really good I'm really impressed with the actual design I want to get that um part down here mined out and lowered to the next level so that's going to take a little bit of probably today as well but I'm going to um let them finish building this part or at least most of it we have extra stone bricks around here as well there's um, 72 there, so it should be enough to get most of this done. And I'm not sure if we're making some more up or if we have more. Oh yeah, we have tons more. We have like 200 right here. And then some. <laughs> so let's get them to move that into the location and then we'll take it from there, I think. So yeah, we should be able to uh, definitely um, finish that up. And what we have here, we have twos. So. All right, yeah, that's good then. Um, wasn't expecting to have this done actually today. I thought it was going to be taking at least one more day to do, but um, yeah, it's looking good. So for the the um, part where the settlers live, I'm thinking about putting the stairs over here on these corners, and then there will be like a hallway, and then there will be like two different rooms or three or something like that. I'm not sure just yet, but. We'll figure it out eventually of how we're going to set it all up, but I want the stairs out of the way. And I'm thinking around in these areas where the uh, cross sections are would probably be the best location because the stairs go up here. They can just directly go over to these sides. So at least that's the idea. Uh, we'll see how it actually turns out. Um, but yeah, it's looking really good. I love the texture on it for the kitchen floor and the dining room floor and stuff like that. So I think it will be good. It's just a matter of getting everything set up after. <laughs> but one step at a time. And we'll just uh, wait for these this part to be done. And then we can start moving our kitchen in as well. I'm going to start telling them to mine down here as well. Uh, I want to get this done right now. So we'll break that. And then we'll tell them to mine these out. And then we can put the stairs down that direction. Uh, the only down...
right, so I'm hosting a Druid uh, event, so we're going to get everyone over here to do that. And I don't know why he was over here just standing, but he's just like chilling. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to host the event or not. To hit Druid. <laughs> just like hasn't even gone to the uh, place, but the cattle's there now, so uh, yeah, I don't know if he's going to be doing it from over there or. Everyone's basically waiting on him. Maybe he's coming now, or nope. Nope, they're just going to chill there. Oh, there's a few more people coming. Praying. Okay, so are you coming yet? No, he's still chilling over there. <laughs> Everybody's like over here and he's just like not even in the same room that's funny this is the um oldest cow as well so i'm trying to sacrifice the oldest animals now so uh the young ones can still survive and stuff like that so i just number them uh give them a number and then i know exactly what one i need to do so this one i already looked up the year and it was like um the oldest so and there's this uh, fun little thing I talked to the developers about um, about sheep and other livestock getting tended to, and there's a chance that if they're um, basically getting tended to for like milking or uh, shearing and stuff like that, that the uh, animal will actually survive the event if it happens at the very exact time. It's like a little Easter egg that they left in, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, they weren't, they didn't know about it. It could have been considered a bug, but it was, um, I said that it would actually be a pretty cool Easter egg, so they left it in. It was pretty cool. But yeah, outside of that, well, I, I don't know if this is actually going to work or not. He's still chilling over here. Yeah, hard to tell. I don't know. They might be just stuck there permanently. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, and... How did the event go? I'm not sure. Let's see here. I don't know if they got an increase for that. Oh, feather and... Negative one. I'm not sure if that happened or has any effect on them, but... Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell because... I'm not sure their effects okay let's see here um beautiful surrounding
right, so there is a small little issue. I tried relogging. I'm not sure if it's going to help. Uh, basically, they can't get to those stairs for some reason or weren't able to. So I'm not sure if relogging is actually going to help with this particular issue. Um, I know that there's a whole bunch of issues with stairs recently with um, uh, pathfinding and stuff like that. And I think that has to do with a few things. So I'm going to just let it sit for a little while and see if anyone comes to destroy that we're right on the time where everyone's just basically like um going and tending to uh certain things so i'm hoping that like having their entertainment and stuff like that so i'm hoping that we'll be able to get down there actually we could probably test this right now can you reach that yes you can okay good so we'll do that right now and um, i guess relogging did help so just praying that he doesn't get stuck down there. Yeah, he did. Darn it. Um, we'll have to put a ladder in, I guess. Wait until somebody grabs the ladder. <laughs> He's just like, I'm going to sleep on the floor here. <laughs> Actually, is that enough to build that? It is. Can you just build that, maybe? Already assigned to somebody. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Um, we'll to that in just a minute or two and then we'll see if we can't get them to um wake up and then they can go up the ladder and then we'll get somebody down here to uh haul that okay they you don't they don't have haul for some reason so we'll just um see let's see here we'll tell them to fill that in and once we get most of this filled in, then what we can do is we can remove the ladder and hopefully they won't stand on the ladder or go to the bottom. Because I don't want them to actually like get stuck down there, but a little harder to uh, work going upwards than it is going downwards due to their AI and stuff, so... So let's see if we can't tell them to just destroy that on their own accord, and then we might be able to use ladders or something like that to get up. It might have also been because I destroyed it, told them to destroy it, and that could have made them... Yeah, see, he's standing on the, the stairs. That's fine. So that should help. We'll fill that in, and then we'll fill this part in, and then we'll do repeat the process. We'll cost a little bit of wood, but it'll be fine. So I just discovered that my method of basically cooking resources is flawed. I don't think there is an actual way to separate all the foods actually. So 
Uh, my original idea was to do like until you have and then have multiple of these for crafting different types of food. So in some cases like with the um, uh, Church of Restor Restitution or whatever it's called, um, basically it requires bread and wine, right? So if you wanted to craft say bread, so you would need barley for that. Um, you would select that, right? You would think, okay, that would work if we had it on um, the amount, and then maybe we'll have this at every 10, so it creates 10 bread, and then that would be enough to cover it. Um, the problem with that, though, is if you go ahead and select something else, like say we wanted to make pie, we would select uh, apples or um, the red currant, and if we set this to 20, well, there's a problem with this now. There, if the food level in the storage drops down below 20, it's still going, or to 20, it's going to still craft up this. So say if you were 18, for example, it's just going to craft up more of this. It's not going to craft up the requirement for that. So the, the problem happens is we don't have a specific way to actually um, categorize all the food. Now, if we were able to craft specific types of food like that we have up here, that would work. Uh, we could specify how many and then tell it to do it, but that's obviously not going to happen because uh, there's so many different types of food and stuff, and we're not able to specify specific ones and there's not really a method to create a specific amount so i'm going to try to um, see if the developers can't uh, work on something like that because it looks like the direction that they are going is towards having specific foods and stuff like that especially when you host an event and it does require bread and stuff like that so if it's a specific food and it's not able to be crafted, then that becomes a problem for actual development. It might just be some oversight, but um, just wanted to mention it because I'm not sure exactly how to get around it without um, doing this particular method. But anyhow, uh, just a small note that I noticed. Um, outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.